Today what I'm going to do is show you a twin hydrofoil propulsion system that I've been working on for a kayak. So our back one right now, I've got that attached. We have the cable system hooked up there so that as I use the pedal, it'll swish our hydrofoil back and forth, giving us propulsion there. So let me go ahead now, I'm going to mount the second one here on the front. We'll mount the rudder, we'll put this out in the water and test it out. So it's not working too bad, as you can see, we've gained a little bit more velocity from it. Definitely need some work with the cables and the ropes that I've got adjusted to it to get them a little tighter right now. Other than that, it's working. It's going a little straighter now as well. Today what I want to show you is something that I call hydro skates. What they basically are is a way to skate on water. I've also attached a return spring to our foils now on each one of them. What that does is keeps the foil nice and rigid at the level position. But when you pull up against the water, the foil can go vertical, but the spring helps return the foil back to level again. Alright, so here's the first test of hydro skates. I can see right now that the effect is working properly. The uh, foil goes vertical on the up pull, giving almost no resistance. On the down push, I'm getting normal forward momentum hydrofoil resistance, just like we were predicting. So one of the limitations I can already feel is that unless I'm already going a certain velocity, I'm going to have to double the hydrofoil wing surface to go at any kind of slow velocity. Next, it's very crucial to have the ankle support. Um, the Velcro I had is just not long enough to go around with the shoes on. I can try it without them. But I am feeling the effects that we're looking for. Here's the new foils. You can see the ladder foil here in the front with the side foils. You see the giant eight foot wide foil there in the back with the ladder foils underneath it. This is what it looks like when it's attached to the kayak. You can see the ladder foil design, the rear foil there. Here I am testing out my new foil. You can see the kayak is completely out of the water. That rope wasn't in the way. Checking it out how well it turns. You can see the kayak's completely off the surface there. Here's the engine. Here we are. So here we go. There goes the blades out of the water. We're hydroplaning. things you got to do with the hydrofoils keep it from coming out of the water so you got to have the front blade able to change its pitch and that's what this piece does as it comes out of the water that'll change the pitch to make it flat so it kind of dives if it goes down deep it'll change the pitch so it comes back up to the surface what you're looking at in front of you is a hydrofoil based hydroelectric generator system that I've been working on. 
I'm gonna show you it here in action in a moment. I'm gonna change up some of the things about the timing, but I did find a way that you could create a usable timing for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now here today. What we have here is two foils. We have a foil here, a foil back here in the back, basically a teeter-totter or a sawhorse style design off of a center pivot point. We have a linkage rod going from our foil. So if I pull this linkage rod this way, that foil goes up and that foil goes up as well, making sure that as that one goes up, the force against that one is going to pull that side down and equal and opposite to each other, just like that. And you'll see the cam lobe up there working as I do that. Um, so the way this works basically is we have a cam lobe that's gonna be driven off of the main drive wheel. And that cam lobe, I just have some uh, cables hooked up through a series of pulleys. One goes down and around that pulley, back out to this side of our linkage rod. Uh, the other one goes down here and over to this side of the linkage rod. And you'll notice here, as I turn this, the foil is gonna shift angle. So now it's going down, you rotate through, the foil is gonna shift angle to go back up. Keep rotating through, the foil is gonna shift angle to go down and back and forth. And I'll change the angle here so you can see this a little differently. So there you go, very simple design. One of the foils had to be held out in front, obviously, instead of held from the main part of it. So I had to build a bridge over that. We have a spring on top on that one. And this one here just was mounted right off the bed frame piece I used, and a spring on this one. And because they're going in opposite directions, that spring on the top and that spring on the top actually apply different directional forces, so I don't need springs on both sides. I'm a little limited on space here, but hopefully you can see this. I got the machine here. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn the cam around and let you see just how this thing's gonna actuate. So here we go. First of all, you're gonna turn it. You can see the blade pitch down when I turn it up. The blade pitches down, the machine's gonna go down. You keep rotating, the blade's pitching up. Up at the top, it's gonna turn around, re-pitch all the way down, turn back, and just like that. What you see in front of you is a twin hydrofoil micro hydro hydroelectric generator design that I've been working on. By using hydrofoils instead of pelton wheels or turbines, we can generate energy in much slower water flows than what we typically can use today. Water flows with almost no fall or head to them. Let me go ahead and actuate this real quickly for you so you can see the, the two different hydrofoils. The one in the back has got a bit of a shadow on it, but I'll show you that up close here in a moment. The nice thing about an engine like this is that those hydrofoils are giving power to the flywheel on both the up and the down of each one of their strokes. So there's no real loss by having a dead stroke in the system. And by adding that second hydrofoil in the back in opposite timing, I've really made it so we have a efficient system, something that'll carry its energy through even a really slow water flow. So we give that a little extra energy and let it kind of spin through there. Hopefully from this lower angle, you can see both of the foils and how they operate. You don't need a lot of angle to the foils, you just need to bend the foil past the break point of center and the water pressure should do most of the rest of the action against the foil. All right, so here we go. I want to show you that with just simple motion, I can get our boat going here really easily. So here we go, from a standstill. You see I'm just moving this back and forth. Nice and slow, very little energy. In fact, I'll hold it with just my thumb and my first finger. You notice I can get myself going pretty well with that. It's a nice design for creating forward propulsion. 
And right now I'm using the long sweep. We don't have any of the clamp shut down. Here's a quick shot of what it looks like in the water. So you can see what the tail foil is doing throughout its arc here. I'll try to give you a good shot through the arc. You can see how the foil flips over through those springs, and that gives us the angle we need to create forward propulsion from this.